Rocks are created through a process known as the rock cycle, which involves the transformation of one type of rock into another over long periods of time. The rock cycle consists of three main processes, rock formation, rock weathering and erosion, and rock weathering and erosion, and rock deposition, and lithification. Here's a breakdown of each process. Rock formation. Rocks can be formed through several processes. Igneous rocks are formed when molten rock, magma, cools and solidifies either beneath the Earth's surface, intrusive igneous rocks, or on the surface, extrusive igneous rocks. Examples of igneous rocks. Examples of igneous rocks include basalt, granite, and obsidian. Sedimentary rocks are formed from the accumulation and compaction of sediment over time. Sediment consists of fragments of rocks, minerals, and organic matter that have been weathered and transported by wind, water, or ice. With time, these sediments become compacted and cemented together to form rocks like sandstone, limestone, and shale. Metamorphic rocks are formed when existing rocks undergo changes in response to high temperature pressure, pressure, or the presence of fluids. These changes cause the minerals and textures of the original rocks to transform, resulting in new rocks with different characteristics. Examples of metamorphic rocks include marble, slate, and quartzite. Rock weathering and erosion. Once rocks are formed, they are subject to weathering and erosion processes caused by external forces such as wind, water, ice, and chemical reactions. Weathering breaks down rocks into smaller fragments and alters their chemical composition. Erosion then transports these fragments away from their original location. Rock deposition and lithification. The fragments produced through weathering and erosion are eventually deposited in new locations, such as riverbeds, deltas, or the ocean floor. Over time, these accumulated sediments undergo compaction and lithification, which involves the processes of pressure, cementation, and mineral growth. This results in the formation of sedimentary rocks. It's important to note that the rock cycle is a continuous process that occurs over millions of years and is influenced by various geological and environmental factors. Rocks can undergo multiple cycles and change forms, depending on the Earth's dynamic processes and geological conditions.